Hey there, let's find out how we can detect the user's browser and the operating system using plain JavaScript. To get this information, we are going to use the window.navigator object. We can also use just navigator which is a shorter version of the window.navigator and it will return the same object. Now, this navigator allows us to get a plethora of data about the user, such as their browser, its version, the operating system, language, plugins, and many more. You have to bear in mind that because the navigator is part of the window object, which is only available in the browser environment, we won't be able to get the browser, the operating system and other data if your code is executed on the server or any other applications and scripts that don't have access to the window object. All right, now that we've cleared that out, let's see how to get the browser and the operating system data. In this long list of properties, you can notice the app version, um, the platform, and also the user agent properties. And you would think, hey, that's how I get the data. But honestly, the answer is no. These are some of the deprecated properties that will soon go away, along with others. So do not use those. Do not use app version, platform, and user agent. Instead, we must use navigator.useragentData, not user agent, user agent data. And this gives us the brands, which stores the browser and its version. In my case, I'm using Brave, which is built upon Chromium. Then it will show if um, the browser is on mobile, which in my case it is not. And also the platform, which is Windows in my case, because I'm running Windows 10. But now you may ask, but this provides much less data than the deprecated properties. So what's going on? And this is a valid question. The short answer is that the plan is to increase the privacy of the web user and reduce the amount of data the browser collects. The current downside of using the user agent data property is that it's not compatible with Firefox, Safari, and a few other browsers. But this will soon change. Now, I want to show you a one-liner to check if a user is using a Chromium browser. We are going to use json.stringify and here we're passing the navigator.useragentData and check if it includes Chromium. And this should return a boolean value, true or false. And in my case, it is true. We can use the same one-liner to check if the user is using, um, let's say, the Windows operating system. And in my case, it is true. If I'm checking for Linux, it will return false. If I'm checking for, let's say, Safari, it will return false. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you now have a better understanding of how you can detect the user's browser and the operating system using JavaScript. As always, I'm happy to answer questions, so please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any. And have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.